Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about passing through NVIDIA 3000 series GPUs and AMD 6000 series GPUs. I'll be using an RTX 3080 from NVIDIA and RX 6900 from AMD. I know these two GPUs aren't exactly comparable and I won't be comparing them to each other really. I mainly want to focus on seeing how they perform in a virtual machine versus bare metal. And I also want to take a look at what it takes to get these GPUs working in a virtual machine. First, make sure you're using a newer kernel. When I was using 5.8 something, I was having some stability issues with the virtual machine and the RTX 3080. So right now I'm using 5.10. So newer kernel seems to work better. Another thing that's needed is hiding the hypervisor. So right here, I have an example. In this case, I did not hide the hypervisor. And when I start the virtual machine, I'll end up with error 43. I'll take a look at device manager and the usual error 43. On the 6900, I wouldn't get the, the error 43, but I would get the black screen after rebooting, after the installation of the drivers. So both of these cards, you need to hide the hypervisor in my experience to get them to work. Okay, so next up, I'll hide the hypervisor by adding these lines to the XML and run the virtual machine and run a benchmark to see what happens. So let's start it. So here we are running the Metro Exodus benchmark pretty much maxed out and we can see that it crashes pretty much immediately. This would happen or something like this would happen on both the Radeon 6900 and the 3080. So something needs to be done. So let's see what else we can do to get this to run better. So to improve the performance and to reduce uh, the crashing, I went to libvert.org and uh, I looked up the manual. So when you click on hypervisor features, it gives you some options, some enlightenments you can add to the virtual machine, to the XML. And uh, so I tried all of them and then I kind of deleted some to see how the performance changed. I en and I ended up with a final few. I mean, it's more than few, but this is what I ended up with. So I guess I kept most of them. Again, the value, you can name it whatever you want it to be, but these are the ones I picked. I felt like the performance was pretty good. I didn't find a way to make it any better, so I stuck with these options. I'm not saying that this is the best and ultimate list of uh, enlightenments, but they worked for me. So you can try them. I will post a link to libvert.org and I will also uh, link uh, the ones I selected. So uh, now let's run some benchmarks to see how this uh, compares to bare metal. I will run some uh, 3800 benchmarks and some uh, 6900 XT benchmarks and we'll see what we get. Same settings worked for both the 6900 XT and the 3800. So yeah, let's take a look at the benchmarks. So here I'm running Metro Exodus. Uh, it's running on a 10900K with 32 gigabytes of RAM. When in virtual machine, it's using 16 threads and 16 gigabytes of RAM. When we look at the benchmarks, both the RTX on and RTX off uh, results, the virtual machine scored slightly higher. I think it's a fluke, even though I retested it. I don't think you really need to play Metro in a virtual machine to get uh, the best performance. But for some reason, the numbers were slightly higher. It's not a major difference. I think it's still within the margin of error pretty much, but the difference between the virtual machine and bare metal is negligible. So I would say the settings that we picked for our virtual machines, the enlightenments, they do work and certainly improve the performance compared 
to when we ran it the first time and it crashed within the first 5 seconds. Let's take a look at the 6900 XT. The performance is again really close when it comes to virtual machine and bare metal. I would say it's again almost negligible, but uh, bare metal is slightly higher. If we try to compare the two cards, the 3080 and the 6900, even though we shouldn't because they are in completely different performance brackets and price brackets, the 6900 XT performs better with no RTX than the 3080, and the 3080 beats it when the RTX is on, and in this case set to Ultra. Okay, so now let's take a look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Here, the 3080 uh, exhibited the same behavior as earlier, when it actually scored better in a virtual machine than natively. I am fully expecting this to be a fluke, even though it reappeared when I retested it. So, I do not think that you have to run it in a virtual machine for the best performance, but in my test, that's what happened, so I'm leaving the results there. The 6900 XT showed very little loss when running in a virtual machine compared to bare metal. So any of these cards will work just great. They were stable and really it depends on whatever is available in store. So this doesn't really... This doesn't necessarily only apply to these two cards, the 3080 and, th and 6900. Uh, the whole series, the 30 series, the 6000 series, they should behave more or less the same in a virtual machine, except for the performance, obviously. But uh, I expect them to be stable, uh, to run well. And finally, the Radeon doesn't suffer from a reset bug, even though for both of them you have to hide the hypervisor. Other than that, great cards for pass-through. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this video was helpful. You should be able to use these enlightenments for all cards, not only the latest uh, RTX 3000s and uh, RX 6000s. They should help with any card GTX, older Radeons, all that. So hopefully everybody finds it helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.